If you're a woman suffering with hormonal acne and you have tried and failed all retinoids and benzyl peroxides, don't lose hope just yet because there's one miracle pill that may help. If you're interested to find out more, then keep watching. Hey guys, this is your pharmacist Sidra and welcome to my channel, Ask Your Pharmacist, where I talk all about health, pharmacy, and beauty. So if this is something you're interested in, then stick around and subscribe for more. Hormonal acne is exactly what it sounds like. Acne that's tied to the fluctuations in your hormones. Now, first thing first, it's important to understand the difference between the hormonal acne and the good old fashioned pimples. Now, mainly the fluctuation in your estrogen and progesterone hormone and even your testosterone levels may cause the hormonal acne. So the way you know you have hormonal acne is if you are no longer in your teens and you're still getting acne mostly around your chin and jawline and we don't know much why this beard of acne is so common especially in women but it is super annoying because it can basically cause too much production of oil which can clog your pores. Another sign that you have hormonal acne is that you get this monthly breakout because hormonal acne often manifests in a cyclic pattern much like the uh, women's menstrual cycle and they tend to pop out in the same place every month which tends to leave acne mark if you can't hold yourself from touching it. And also if you are seriously stressed, I mean girl you want to watch out because stress can lead to hormonal acne because when you're stressed cortisol hormone is released which is your stress hormone and this hormone tends to affect other hormones as well causing them to be all out of whack so basically acute stress can disturb your hormones which can cause hormonal acne pretty self-explanatory right now since your acne are associated with these hormones it will make sense to take some action to kind of regulate or control these hormones right so if you have tried and failed these uh, retinoids cleansers uh, benzyl peroxides or even isotretinoin then there is this one pill which you may want to try and that is a spironolactone which is an anti-androgen regulates your hormones and that may help you get out of that misery forever so the way this medication works is basically it controls the male hormone androgen. Now don't be alarmed, females also uh, have the androgen hormone and these acne are mostly associated with that hormone. So this medication basically works by decreasing the male hormone androgen. The way this medication basically works is by decreasing the male hormone called androgen which has been linked to the development of acne and the androgen hormones like testosterone are typically thought to be um, as a male sex hormone but androgens are also present in female body although the levels of androgens in females are lower but still they are actually one of the main hormones associated to cause the hormonal acne so some women produce more androgen hormones than needed and because of which they get these gross hormonal acne around the chin and jawline. So spironolactone or the brand name Eldectone basically limits the uh, fluctuation in the hormones that can contribute to acne breakouts. Now primarily spironolactone is a medication used to treat high blood pressure. It's also a diuretic. Although FDA has not officially recognized it as an acne treatment, but it is very commonly prescribed off-label to treat uh, hormonal acne in women. It's only available in a pill form to be taken by mouth, unlike most acne medications which are um, used topically, except for uh, isotretinoin which is also taken by mouth. Since it's a diuretic, you want to take it in the morning, not late afternoon or nighttime because then it's going to make you pee all night, which is kind of annoying. And when using Eldectone as an acne treatment, the most common dosage is between 50 to 100 milligrams. Uh, that's once daily. Many dermatologists start off by prescribing 25 milligrams and work up to target dosage over the course of several weeks because of the side effects associated with it. But mainly your prescriber will actually determine the appropriate dosage for you depending on your personal situation. Now, spironolactone isn't one of those drugs where it starts to work a little bit and then you raise the doses and it works much better. It only works when you are at the right level of this medication in the body. So sometimes it's just a trial and error to find out what dosage works the best for you. 
Spironolactone does not permanently cure the condition. It only works while you are using it, although it's safe to use long term, but I recommend using it no more than one to three years and eventually wean off once the acne are kind of under control. But remember, spironolactone only works on women, which is kind of weird, I guess it's feminist. Side effect wise, I would say most people get very thirsty while on it because it's a diuretic, but you may also experience um, dizziness because it's a blood pressure um, control medication. Basically, when your blood pressure slightly drops, that tends to cause drowsiness. But as you continue to take the medication, your body kind of gets adjusted to it and then you don't experience that uh, dizziness side effect. Some women also complain about uh, irregular menstrual cycle while on this medication. Leg or foot cramps could be uh, one of the other side effects. Oh, and the main one, uh, spironolactone is a potassium sparing diuretic, which means it can actually elevate the levels of potassium in your body. Now, this is no big deal if your overall potassium level is normal to begin with, but watch out because too high potassium level can actually lead to irregular heartbeat and could be very dangerous. So it's important that while you're on this medication, you do get your lab work done and get the potassium levels checked every so often. Now, most of the side effects associated with this medication can be resolved by just tweaking the dosage or just simultaneously using birth controls while you're on this medication just to even out the uh, irregular period problems. In fact, taking spironolactone in combination with birth control pills is more effective in getting clearer skin. Oh, and while I'm on this topic, I just want to go ahead and make this very clear that it's a great idea to be on a birth control pill while taking spironolactone because it should not be used in pregnancy. It's a big no-no since the medication kind of impacts the key hormones you need to make a baby. So if you get pregnant while on this medication, it may actually impact the growth or hormones of your child. And remember, spironolactone is not the first line treatment for acne, so your dermatologist will likely have you try um, other conventional acne medications like uh, uh, the topical uh, retinoids are kind of the first line of treatment and your um, antibiotics, benzyl peroxide, or just a combination of these medications. And if those aren't helping um, to clear out your skin significantly, then your physician may um, you know, think of prescribing um, spironolactone and also your doctor is going to kind of evaluate whether those acne are formed by the fluctuation in the hormones. Then in that case, aldectone or spironolactone may be your best friend. Well, the bottom line is whatever treatment plan your dermatologist creates for you, try to be patient while waiting for results because it can take up to three to four months before you really notice a big improvement in your skin. So really don't give up on your treatment too soon and let your doctor or pharmacist know if you experience any side effects with the spironolactone. That way your dosage could be adjusted or we can weigh benefits versus risk and determine whether to continue on this medication or not. All right, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this video was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if you suffer from hormonal acne and if you have tried something in past, what worked and what did not work. I would love to know your take on that. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on new videos on health, pharmacy, and beauty.